Hey, what is up everyone? Welcome back to another review and today I'm taking a look at another awesome gym variant. Another awesome master grade gym variant I might add. And of course, this is the master grade gym dominance and this particular version is the Philip Hughes version. So of course this particular variant of the gym dominance would not exist without that absolutely awesome master grade gym sniper 2. So for the most part it shares a lot of parts with that. And the master grade Gundam RX-78 2 version 2, which the gym sniper 2 is based on. And also this kit right here would not exist without the line of kits that pretty much stemmed from this right here, the Master Grade Gundam Stormbringer. But of course, once again, I have reviewed all of those kits and you can check those out here on the channel if you want to. But anyway, right into this here and first off I will mention that this video would not be possible without those absolutely fantastic people over at Baiyi. So if you do want one of your own, there is a link down there in the description or if you're looking for any other rare or premium Bandai Gunpla, the link is down there. But let's get right into the review. So that right there is what the Master Grade Gym Dominance Philip Hughes version looks like out of the box and just snapped together with a very minor bit of extra effort and that would be some panel lining. Besides that, I've done nothing extra whatsoever. So this right here is essentially what you will get just out of the box and this thing looks absolutely astounding. I'm an absolutely huge fan of the gym design and this one has turned the awesome meter all the way up to 11. And on the off chance that you're not all that familiar with this design right here, this is from the manga The Blue Destiny, which you can see right here. This is that particular version. And this, of course, is piloted, like the name suggests, by a guy called Philip Hughes. That's what he looks like, and I can only assume he invented the color-changing LED light bulb. So I'm gonna pop off all the accessories on here so we can just take a look at the mobile suit itself, and we will get back to all of these a little bit later on. So move that off the arm, and of course the main event when it comes to this kit compared to the other variant is this set of Gatlings on its back, but we're gonna save these for later. So anyway, as usual, there is a full 360 degree spin of the gym dominance, and it looks absolutely and utterly fantastic. It's a kit like this, this particular design, and especially it being from a side story, that does make me hopeful that sometime in the future we might see a Pale Rider. Pale Rider looks very similar to this. Hopefully, I'm really hoping we do get one. I love the design of that mobile suit, but this right here, looking awesome. This is very very similar to the Master Grade Gym Dominance we saw already, which I will compare to very soon. The only real difference is all that stuff round back for attaching the Gatlings, and of course, the new color scheme. So anyway, there it is side by side with the standard Master Grade Gym Dominance, and once again this is a premium Bandai kit as well, so these are not available through standard means. So once again, of course, the biggest difference between the two is all this jazz around on the backpack. And of course, the biggest difference is the color itself. I'll mention it now because I might forget it later. This shield does not come with this version at all. This has a much lighter main color, which is white. This is in a light gray. And this has a darker overall general color scheme. Because of all the colors that have been changed, like the cockpit, these sections in there, etc. We end up with a metric ton of leftover parts. And this right here is just a sample. Just a sample, this is not everything. I'm gonna pop up a picture on the screen right now. This is from the Schizophonic blog. I'll put the link to that blog down there in the description. This guy took the time to cut them all out, line them up just so you can see all the leftover parts. So that is what comes in here. It is off the charts crazy. So if you're really into customization of your kits, this might be one for you, but there's a couple of interesting things worth mentioning in here. In here we do have a lot of variant color parts which can be used in certain areas. If you're not actually a fan of the fact that we've got that dark color on the side of the leg, you can swap it out for an entirely white segment. That will make pretty much the entire leg white. You could do exactly up here as well with the box beam sabers on the arms. We got white variants of these in here as well. Once again, these are left over, but they are an option. For example, these are easy to take off, so I can show you the swap. Take it off, pop that on, so if you want that all white look, you can go for that. It even has the functional hole for using with the beam. And we also have this shoulder section up here in white as well. There's probably a bunch more as well I haven't taken a look at, but there's a lot of color options. And if light colors aren't your thing and you prefer darker colors, we've got a lot of the parts in the darker color as well. So this right here is the full forearm, we've got both of those. This right here is the full upper arm, so you can change the entire arms to be that navy blue. We've got the upper leg armor, including the rear armor, the lower leg armor, the rear leg armor, the thruster cover, as well as the front and the rear armor of the feet. So from just this little section of stuff I've taken a look at right here, you can change the entire legs to be navy blue. Same with the upper arms. So you can have an almost Jesta-esque color scheme. I think that is pretty awesome. 
And of course, all of this is just included extra on the runners. And also because of the extra plastic included in here, you could also take this here section from the double beam cannon, take it out and stick in this entirely red section if you wanted to. So there is a whole lot of leftover plastic in this box. And that is just scratching the surface. Anyway, as for a size comparison, there it is side by side with your standard size Gundam, which is the Granddaddy RX-78 II. This is the Gorilla Hands 3.0. Once again, there it is side by side with the original Premium Bandai Gym Dominance Kit. This is just a color variant of that, so it's pretty much identical. There it is side by side with the absolutely spectacular Gundam Stormbringer. Without this kit, this may have never ever existed. And this is one awesome kit. Once again, they share a lot in common. And of course, the gym dominance would not have existed at all without this absolutely spectacular kit right here, the Gym Sniper 2. Just swapping that out really quickly with the Premium Bandai Color variant. This is the Lido Wolf version of the Gym Sniper 2. There it is beside the Gym Command Colony type and the Gym Cold Districts version. And there it is beside a Jester, which is one of the biggest, if not the biggest, Gym Style Mobile Suits. There it is, beside a Zaku 2.0, a small Master Grade, which is the F91, and a big old Master Grade, which is the Sazabi Verka. So before we actually get into what makes this version of the Gym Dominance unique, if you want to know more about it, including its build quality, articulation, etc., you can check out the full review that I did of that, as well as the full review I did on the Gundam Stormbringer. So now moving straight into the accessories and there's the Master Grade Gym Dominance Philip Hughes custom with absolutely everything that it comes with. So if you're like me straight away, your eyes have darted to these right here. Yes, it comes with two, and I repeat, two Gatling Gun Turrets. How awesome is that? Besides that, everything is essentially the same as what we saw with the other variation. And of course, that is the double beam cannon, two beam sabers, a base adapter. As for the hands, it's those swappable finger style that have been with all the different variants of the gyms we've seen so far. That is any of the new variants as well as what came with any of the Master Grade Age kits. These things right here are just swappable parts for using with the turrets. We'll take a look at those soon. And finally then we do have a sheet of water slide decals and let's look at those first. So that right there is the sheet of water slide decals. For the most part, they're quite plain, just your standard style, unit number, warning decals, etc. So for the most part, quite plain. Like I mentioned, the fingers are the swappable style, so they pop out like so. To attach on the other type, they just pop in just like that right there. It is worth noting, these are the same as on a multitude of kits like, of course, the Gym Sniper 2, Gym Command Colony type, the Master Grade Jagan, as well as the Age kits. It's also worth noting that we do also get that super hyper extended index finger shooting fingers which is for using with the Gym Sniper and the Gym Colony Types weapons. So it's worth noting that that is included. So moving on to the weapons then, first off we've got the Double Beam Cannon. This is exactly the same as what we saw in the other Gym Dominance, but in, well, in my opinion, a nicer color, which is that typical Gundam muted grey. And as for moving parts, all we have is this scope up here on top. In order to attach it, you have to pull off one of the box beam sabers. It doesn't matter which, left or right is fine. You just connect the handle into these particular fingers here. That's the one with the shooting finger that attaches onto the hand. And then around back then, the double beam cannon attaches onto where you took off the box beam saber, as well as slotting into the section that we already attached into the hand. So all in all, this holds on perfectly, solid as a rock, and looks awesome to boot. Speaking of beam sabers, we do get two in here, but I will mention a couple of things about these. We do have options, the first of which is to hold it in the hand like a standard beam saber, but we do only have one spot on this kit for storing the handles when they're not in use. That is down here on the thigh. So when that is not in use, it can be popped in here just like that right there. The second option is that beam sabers can actually be used on the backs of the arms in these box beam sabers. Which honestly, in my opinion, is the preferred method. This just looks so cool. It just makes more sense to use a beam saber that is attached onto your arm because it's always there, instant, and ready to use. I love this kind of beam saber. But we've seen all those accessories before. Let's check out what makes this kit unique. And that, of course, is this and this. So these things right here are so awesome I had to give them a spin, but I will mention that they are deceptively plain and deceptively simple. So for the most part, they just stand there and look awesome and, well, that's enough, really. 
But because these are quite simply designed, that does mean there is a lot of cleanup on these. For example, no matter where you look on this, we're going to find seams and nubs everywhere. Once again, when I prep these kits for review, all I do is snip them out with one snip using the God Hand Nipper. So if you do take a little bit more care, snip those out with the double snip method, etc., you may avoid those. But as for the mold lines all over this, and I think I might have called them seam lines a little while ago, but no, they're mold lines, you're going to have to get sanding. But there is no denying that the thought of the gym dominance dropping these as either a distraction or a trap, then mopping up what's left over, is absolutely epic. Seriously though, these are one of the most unique and awesome grunt accessories I've ever seen. These, I love. So when not in use, of course, these can be stored up here on this little rigging up on the gym dominance's backpack. So we just pop open these upper sections like that and like that. And he's all ready to go. So that's where these segments I showed earlier come in. These are basically the tripods which hold these up in a different form. Of course, in a folded up form. So this is a bit of a parts formation. So what I mean by that is there isn't really all that much in the lines of moving parts in this. And this does not actually fold up. So you need to pull this segment out like so. If you plan on leaving these attached to your gym dominance's back, these will be, well, just put back in the box or elsewhere because they don't fold up. But what does fold up is this section here, which moves up and in like so. So that is ready. Wait, no, it's not. We have to attach this different variant of the legs on like so. And now it's ready to attach. I will mention that both the Gatlings are identical. What I mean by that is they are 100% identical. They are not mirror images of each other, which I thought they would be. So that means when they are attached onto the back, they attach a little bit differently. So let's check it out. So when you're attaching the first one, it pops in here like that. The upper section then in here, that closes up. And there we go. There it is attached. So this drum section is pointing towards the back. But because these are identical and not mirror images of each other, when this one slots in here like so, it then has to lean back a little bit to fit into this here thing. So once that's connected in like so, this drum section here now points towards the front. So that means they don't line up in exactly the same way. This one's kind of leaning forward, whereas this one points directly upwards. So that is a bit of an odd design right there. No real big deal. It still looks absolutely and utterly killer, but it is worth pointing out. One leans slightly back, one leans slightly forward. So that right there is it for the review, and this, in essence, is exactly the same as what we saw before with the other Premium Bandai Master Grade Gym Dominance. And that means it is absolutely and utterly awesome, but it's still a silver tier kit because it's exactly what I would expect from a Master Grade. Once again, everything I said about the other version of the Gym Dominance applies. It looks great, it is great. The articulation could be a little bit better here and there, but it's still gonna make you very, very happy. It is a grunt after all. And of course, what really does make this unique, besides the new color scheme, is that pair of absolutely awesome Gatling gun turrets. Once again, they don't do a whole lot, there's a lot of cleanup required, but there's no denying, they are awesome. And for me, that is totally what I wanted this kit for. Definitely, I love those things. But anyway, if you do want one of your own, there is a link down there in the description. You can get yours through Bai, or if you're looking for any rare or premium Bandai Gunpla that you desire, also down there in that link. As always, thank you so, so much for watching. Make sure to come back for more Gunpla reviews, more premium Bandai Gunpla reviews. And as always, I'll see you next time. As usual, this video would not have been possible without each and every one of you guys who watches my videos and those of you who support me on the channel memberships as well as on Patreon, including Caleb Engelhart, Frank04484, Tyler Sanders, Bolwig, Vex, Forge Horizons, Kaiser71, NQG420, and Craig Jerry.